Hey guys, uh, this is Eric Bramlett with Bramlett Residential, and today we are going to discuss the August 2023 Austin real estate market statistics. Uh, before we get started on that, I want to let everyone know that uh, Max Lehman and I have decided to put together a monthly interactive podcast where we will discuss real estate statistics, uh, mortgage statistics at a national level, at a local level. Uh, we hope to bring in some guests that have outside perspectives, typically people from outside of the real estate industry uh, that we'll have on. We already have a couple of people that have committed to that. Um, this first podcast this Friday will be live, will be interactive. From 4 to 6 p.m. it will be recorded and we will send that to anyone who is interested. Uh, anyone who would like to join, please shoot us an email um, or I can send you a form that you can that you can fill out. We're really excited about it and I hope that uh, it will be quality. We have to provide a lot of value to everyone and we have to get a lot of feedback. So the real estate statistics in Austin uh, were not super surprising again. Um, we've settled into a uh, somewhat of a down market that is still moving along uh, sluggishly. Very uh, worth noting this month that the total sales went positive. We expected that to happen uh, since the past two months have shown uh, pending units in the positive direction and actually very positive the past couple of months. Um, so finally, the total sales in a year over year perspective are up versus down, which they have been. Uh, pricing, which you will see reported uh, by most of the news sources, are still down 7.5% on average and median basis and a little bit higher than that on a per square foot basis. Very worth noting that net new listings are down by almost 100%. Um, it's very significant uh, net new listing decline. Um, even though we're in a soft market, we're in an interesting soft market because there is not a lot of inventory to choose from and uh, sellers can be somewhat sticky on their price. Pending units. We're comparing pending units to 2019. The reason for that is that 2019 was the last normal market that we saw in Austin. The pandemic market started in 2020. And if you look at the 2023 pending unit curve, which we consider a demand curve, it follows it almost identically with 2019. Because of this, we know that we can expect a normal seasonal decline in the market in the upcoming fall and winter. Buyers typically don't enter the market during the school year and during the holidays. They pick back up the following Q1 and they start putting properties under contract uh, in March, April, May of the following year. And we think that you can expect that. We think that you can expect that this year. Jobs, it's an underreported issue. We follow the Indeed.com jobs trend, and we've now seen five months of stability in the Indeed jobs posting, but that is actually a fairly significant decline. For the past five months, we've seen a 30 to 35% decline uh, year over year in the number of Indeed.com job postings. Indeed is typically where the good jobs are posted. We don't see ads for McDonald's, things like that, but we do see ads for the blue chip tech companies that are a staple in Austin and those jobs are down relatively uh, significantly. Uh, Business, uh, Business Insider recently reported uh, the tech job recession is over, uh, tech layoffs have slowed to a trickle, when will the hiring start to reaccelerate? That's what you wanna watch in the Austin market. Typically Austin has an incredibly strong job market. Right now it is not super strong because the job market nationally is not super strong. When those jobs come back, you will see Austin's real estate market accelerate along with it. Uh, we will also see mortgage rates start to drop at some point in time next year. We think that jobs will come back and mortgage rates will decline around the same time next year. Call it hopefully Q1, but probably not. Uh, almost certainly in Q2 and almost 100% certainly in Q3, you'll see the jobs and mortgage rates come back at that point. What to do if you're a buyer or a seller? This is an informational chart that we've used for years and years. So uh, this is from a seller's perspective. The optimal time to list your property is gonna be anytime from mid-Feb through the summer, but really we like to see uh, listings in you know, March, April, May, June. Uh, market starts cooling down where we are right now, August, September, October, and then the market will reset next spring whenever we roll back over and you'll see demand enter the market again. If you're a buyer uh, and you're motivated to buy right now, you can take advantage of it. You can take advantage of this. There's less demand out there and there are deals to be had. Uh, some sellers are willing to sell at a discount to sell this fall. There are sellers on the market that are unwilling to sell at a discount and they will be sticky uh, to their price. 
they'll simply pull off of the market or wait to sell next spring. So it's not a blowout sale on real estate by any means, um, but there is a good opportunity for buyers uh, if you're willing to be flexible on which property you want to buy um, and if you want to get a good deal. If you're a seller, you need to start thinking about your plan B. Uh, there is obviously a likelihood that you can sell this fall and this winter. There's a very low likelihood you will sell uh, during the holiday months. So if you don't sell by November, what will you do? Most of the time it makes sense to pull the property off the market and relist it in the spring. The reason for that is that pulling the property off of the market for 90 days resets your days on market. You'll look like a brand new listing in the spring. You'll have much more leverage if you do that than if you uh, sit and hope through the holiday months. So that's it for Austin Real Estate, t- Real Estate Statistics. I'd like to remind everybody again about the interactive podcast this Friday. Also would like to remind everyone that we love conversations. We love to help people as much as we possibly can. If you're a buyer or a seller, you'd like to discuss your specific situation, please reach out to us. We would love to help you. Uh, I'm Eric Bramlett, Bramlett Residential. I hope you have an awesome day and an awesome rest of your week. Thank you.